Research isn't meaningful unless it serves a common good. That requires a way of disseminating new knowledge to those who can best use it. In the early days, each experiment station maintained a model demonstration farm, and farmers were brought to campus to see the latest in farm technology and the best management techniques. Later, the campus went out to the farmer via farmers' institutes. These were exhibitions that traveled by train from county to county. Our present-day system of county extension and home demonstration agents came into being with the Smith-Lever Act of 1914. By the mid-20s, most of Florida's counties supported at least one agent. Youth work began in 1909 when the College of Agriculture organized corn clubs for boys. That was quickly followed by tomato clubs for girls, and then a host of other clubs for poultry, beekeeping, sweet potatoes, and a lot more. In 1925, Florida 4-H was created, and today it is part of the nation's largest youth development organization. Extension was broadened to the urban professions in 1919 with the establishment of the General Extension Division. General Extension programs emphasized vocational training and professional certification. There were extension classes for doctors as well as plumbers and auto mechanics. The University of Florida managed the program until 1966 when responsibilities for continuing education were divvied up among the state universities. Today, the University of Florida is responsible for environmental and sustainability training. 